Welcome to morning prayer for the week of May 24th to 28th, and this is leading us into Trinity Sunday. We'll start together with a responsive reading from Psalm 29. Trust God, don't put your trust in human potential. Science and technology, wealth and popularity, these will pass away. Only God is worthy of lasting worship. Fame and fortune will not save you when the tempest strikes. The wind swirls in, waves crash upon your comfortable shore. Possessions, wealth, and status cannot save you. You stand alone before the power of God, as naked and helpless as the day you were born. Before God's power, you face your own frailty. Nothing can save you except God. Only God is greater than any human crisis. Only God can sustain you through the storm and carry you to the calm on the other side. Our scripture reading is from Romans 8 today. Again, it will be read Lectio Divina style, so I will read it three times with silence at the beginning and silence in between. So the first time, just listen. The second time I read the passage, listen for a word or a phrase that stands out for you. And then on the third reading, take those words and phrase uh, and the scripture deeper into your prayer. And if you wish, take that word or phrase with you throughout the week. All who are led by God's Spirit are God's sons and daughters. You didn't receive a spirit of slavery to lead you back again into fear, but you received a spirit that shows you are adopted as God's children. All who are led by God's Spirit are God's sons and daughters. You didn't receive a spirit of slavery to lead you back again into fear, but you received a spirit that shows you are adopted as God's children. All who are led by God's Spirit are God's sons and daughters. You didn't receive a spirit of slavery to lead you back again into fear, but you received a spirit that shows you are adopted as God's children. Let's pray together. Oh God, there are times when we feel we can cope with our lives. There are other times when we feel frail and helpless. Thank you for reminding us that we can always turn to you and that you are greater than our problems. Oh God, we confess that we don't always recognize the various ways you help us. We thank you for all the ways help comes into our lives through friends, families, churches, and agencies, even at times strangers. And as we come to you with our gratitude, we come also with our prayers for those we care about. We pray for those friends and families, those church groups and helping agencies. May we be strengthened in all the good works they do. May we pray for those in special need of strength and help today. May we pray for those of us who have asked for our prayers. Help us as we bring them to you now. Hear our prayers, O God, and in your love answer. And let's read our closing prayer together. Christ, you are before us. This is what gives us courage to go on. It is you who directs. It is you who beckons. So we dedicate ourselves to you, and we bless you now. Amen.